we're gonna need a camera for that? Cameras? Wherever we're going, we don't need cameras. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, zero out of ten. No stars. You get this nothing. This is my favorite scene. This. <laughs> Hello. Your Quentin reviews. Well, I figured for this uh, in the field, we'd go through Quentin reviews' own channel because really, I just wanted a title that would say Quentin reviews. Quentin reviews feet. <laughs> Quentin reviews. Is that what it was? <laughs> I was curious yeah. why you you pitched this to me. I was curious about it. Have you ever done something like this before? Have you ever had someone go through their own content on the show? No. <laughs> Are you nervous? A little bit. I mean, literally what you have pulled up here is something I made my junior year of high school. I'm sure it'll be all kinds of embarrassing. And yeah, because it says like Quentin reviews three times. <laughs> it's going to totally with your um <laughs> your search results so now when oh, people that, look yeah. up your channel they're going to see this review of yeah uh, all of your all of your best work uh, thank you thank you here's uh, quentin leap director's cut so how old how, how old were you quentin when you made this i'm thinking 16 uh people aren't gonna believe me because i've always looked older than i actually am mm. i started growing beards in the seventh grade <laughs> so i'm gonna look probably i'm gonna look probably like 25 in this but i was 16 i'd say jesus okay seventh grade that's like 12 isn't it <laughs> yeah <laughs> quentin leap here we go debut 629 views yeah it's surprising because it's like you know you're your latest videos, they they get quite a lot of views. You yeah, I, I like to think so. It's all in um, it, it's all in the hundreds of thousands. So here's this gem that seems to have been overlooked. <laughs> okay, so we've got a, a teacher walking into the room. I uh, no, that's that would be me. <laughs> so do do you play a character? Are you playing a student, or are you you're playing one of the students' dads, or? I'm playing. <laughs> I'm playing myself. Okay, okay. Quentin as Quentin. And then I'm like, oh, there's these exposition trophies that are clearly saying what era I am currently in. I hope this comes up later in the production. <laughs> C13, I think that's the year. No, it's... I think this is going to have noise in a minute. Hey, Noble, can I use the VCR to look at one of these tapes? Hmm? Yeah, oh, okay, yeah, sure, right here. Oh, okay, yeah, sure, right here. He's like, well, here now. You gotta get, you gotta put the VCR right there. <laughs> I loved it. He, he was so much fun. No, 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 no! I think the VCR has died. Well, he, he was, uh, he was a good soldier. <laughs> what? Well, the other Not one, even gonna try to go fix it. Boy, you, you guys have like touchy feely teachers. <laughs> yeah, we do. We're we're southern. I think these are all like ex football coaches or something. You know. Uh, <laughs> so... It's sweet. It's nice. <laughs> oh, my 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 teachers refused to touch me. So there's, there's a contrast. I don't like the way you said that. Hey, here now. I can't use that. That's never been turned on. It's on. Wait, you can't use that. Because it's never been turned on. Yeah, he's, he's he thinks it's broken. And he says, that's never even turned on. Oh, okay. And then he says, well, you turned it on. I don't know how, how realistic to the... Uh, you know, the fidelity to your own character. I don't know what it is. Like, are you, you're, you're like this headstrong guy in this movie. Where you're like, no, I'm going to forge ahead with this VCR thing. Despite what <laughs> teacher tells me. Whether or not I get a detention. This is... <laughs> This is it. We're going to watch this fucking remix of, what is it, Night Court? Well, here now, you know, we've had that VCR for 22 years, and that's bizarre. It's never, it's never worked. VCR for 22 years. 2013, so that makes it 1981. Were there VCRs in 1981? I think it's 1991. Oh, yeah, because my maths is fucking awful. Um, yeah, there were VCRs in 1991. Well, all right, fine. You can keep your historical accuracy then. Uh, do you know how hard I worked to make sure that this movie made sense? <laughs> Don't second guess me here. All right, I apologize. I'm, I'm, I am just keeping an eye on this little clock in the background, though. I don't want it to be 
you know, jumping around between cuts. We're at quarter past ten. Oh, the magic touch. <laughs> well, you got to make sure it plays the tape first. Okay, Mr. And whoa. What is it? <laughs> this thing has a date counter on the front. Yep, they usually do right there. But look at it. It's set to today's date. Oh, my God. Now, that's God. impossible. <laughs> well, that's a twist if you know anything about VCRs. VCRs don't do that. That's true. Ah. It's a type of magic. Well, Hold on well. a minute. It seems that... <laughs> it seems <laughs> that within the space of about 10 seconds, four minutes seems to have passed. <laughs> <laughs> it, well, it's a time travel movie, so it can all be excused. But do you remember how you felt at the time when you were making this? Like, so this was for a thing called Channel Four, which is like a skit presentation that the students do. Oh, okay. And usually people do like one minute segments, mm. and I had this idea to do three minute segments split up throughout the entire presentation to tell a storyline, and no one had ever done that before. This is actually pretty neat. Because people had been doing these video productions for like, since like 1982, we had just like literally tapes where people, of just people walking around the school in the 80s. All right. This close, I might as well try and fix it. Hmm. Go, I changed the year by accident. Well, it doesn't matter. Who needs the year? What, uh, Brad, Esteban, what are y'all doing out there? Okay, now. How do I get out of here? Set? Oh shit, how'd you do... What What software were you using at the time? Windows Movie Maker? <laughs> Windows Movie Maker? <laughs> Are you impressed by these effects or not? It's... it's it, hey look, I can't do that. Uh, what is it, After Effects or something? I don't yeah, know. it's After Effects. It's just a simple lightning effect. Yeah. These are top-notch effects. Yeah, thank you, thank you. I'm very proud of these. Uh, Mr. N, I think this VCR might actually be busted. Where'd he go? He's not, oh, he's not here. You know what? He's gone rogue on me. <laughs> I love you like that. He just immediately walks into the room, doesn't scan anywhere. <laughs> he's gone. He's, no, he's gone. He's gone. I don't know. Fucker, where's he? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's getting attention for this. He's skipping school, the bloody truant. <laughs> he doesn't even check the other room. <laughs> Look at the disappointment in his face. Oh, he was such a good student up until now as well. Oh, oh shit. No, you, you'll notice. Now this is filmed with a different what era of camera. What was that? I actually took my Christmas money from that year and I purchased multiple VHS cameras. Oh, shit, dude. So from here on out, all scenes said in the past are filmed on VHS. Yeah, this, this is rotoscoped. This is actual shots at school in the 80s with me rotoscoped over it. Huh. That's pretty fucking cool. Thank you. What the... What happened to those little book things? Class of 1991. What? Oh, I hate that. That's really corny. <laughs> I gotta, no, I gotta take that again home. <laughs> no! Uh, Holy shit, man. The amount of detail you've put into it is actually pretty bloody good. Thank you. I don't think the screen moves at all when Why when you're running. So, no, it doesn't. Yeah, see, that's completely still. So, in theory, we should be able to just take this and insert this into any video anywhere if people <laughs> just want to reuse this footage. We can just have Quentin reviews running into all sorts of scenes. <laughs> Quentin reviews running into the girls' bathroom. <laughs> Quentin reviews running into <laughs> running into nine eleven. Running into You're horrible. whatever you like. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, I feel so bad because these are these are random people that I didn't know. <laughs> I used thirty year old stock footage up to tell my story. It's the 80s, man. Don't worry, they're all dead. Oh, well, let's, I, I've got to have a look at the technical mastery here, because you run through. You're actually running behind those people. Yeah, it doesn't look good, though. It's only good because it's so short that your brain's not processing it. Look, it looks horrible. <laughs> still good. So you must have, like, individually, like, cropped out, like, do 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 Yeah, and I didn't even frame. use, I didn't even use After Effects, because VHS and rotoscoping and After Effects do not go together. So it was, I literally opened each frame in GIMP and oh, okay. edited out the backgrounds that way. 
I feel so bad about these random people who've been roped into this project. And think of the summers of the past. Adjust the pitch and let the last. Pop in my CD and let me run around and put your teenagers. car on cruise and lay back cause it's summertime. And they're dancing to Will Smith. <laughs> it must be in the past. The joke there is that no one would unironically dance to Will Smith in the present, so that's how I know I'm in the past. Dear guys, if my calculations are correct, uh, you will receive this letter mere seconds after I dissipated into the time stream. Don't... <laughs> Go on, I, tell, I, us, tell us a little something about dissipating into the, <laughs> into the ether. What was it? I think I just copied and pasted Doc's dialogue from Back to the Future Part 3. <laughs> I, I know I did, let's be real. The fucking you, uh, you will receive this letter mere moments after I dissipated, dissipated into, into the, the time yeah. okay. Oh god, it's horrible. If my calculations are correct, you will receive this letter immediately after you saw the DeLorean struck by lightning. I think I got scholarship money for this. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that says a lot about my the quality of my brand. I used the Tron 500 for the first time. The VCR went completely haywire. And for some reason sent me back to the exact time and year which I had set by accident. It's funny how time flies in more ways than one. It doesn't one. make sense. You didn't you fly into the future. What do you mean in more ways than one? Class of 1993. It's a little ironic. I always wanted to graduate early. That's a good joke. I actually like that. Ah, uh, Mr. Hooper. Hello, Mr. Maston. Do you need something? Uh, yes, I wanted to drop this by. So this is a student I went to school with. Yeah. This is Brandon Evans, a friend of mine. He is being voiced by a famous teacher who had been working there for like 30 years. He is lip syncing. Oh, okay. I didn't pick up on that. We're all lip syncing in this scene. It's all pre-recorded audio. So Brandon is playing like a 30-year-old version of a teacher I went to school with while lip syncing to the actual audio of him. Oh, okay. Uh, yes, I wanted to drop this by. Ah, would you like to donate this to the media program? Not quite. Uh, the Mastron 5000? His name was Maston. I figured that you would be the best person to show this to, as I know you have some sort of obsession with time travel. Time travel? Look inside. What in the... You gutted it! I used the shell of the VCR and some of the minor parts, but the rest is a completely original design. Hold up, Mr. Maston. Are you trying to tell me... Oh, you build oh, a time where did I machine? get this? Can you guess where I got this? Do you have any guess where I where I got this line? What I'm referencing? Do you know what this is? Do you know what I'm referencing? No, uh, no, it's all going over yeah, my head. <laughs> did you build a time machine out of a forehead VCR? Are you telling me that you built a time machine out of a forehead VCR? I only used the most advanced technology out there. It was quite the sacrifice, but I believe that it will be worth it. Why in the world would you build this? I get quite bored in my spare time, and I figured that building a time machine would be the best way to cure my ailment. I'll be right back to get the remote. When I return, we'll continue this conversation. <clears throat> I'd love to see people talk more like that. I have to go do something. When I return, we will be back to continue this conversation. <laughs> I, I just start line. playing Back to the Future here. Because you have to remember, this is kind of disguised as a film, but it's just some dumb school thing I made, so I can do whatever I want. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Time left it. When did I leave? 120, I think. And set time. That's a beta machine it's sitting on, which is. I'm really proud of that Easter egg. It's sitting on a beta machine. The level of detail. He's gone. He's oh, oh no, he's gone rogue. <laughs> I bet Quentin's gonna come running through that door any minute. I'm back! God, I wish he was dead. <laughs> <laughs> He's not dead after all. Boo! <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> we all thought he was kidnapped. <laughs> <laughs> Lured into a van with free candy. <laughs> oh, he wasn't raped and murdered. Boo. <laughs> you know, I'm gone for seven months. I get back here. I missed you all a little bit at least. And this is what I get. You know what? I'm going to throw my own welcome back party at China Buffet. 
As a matter of fact, forget the party. Okay, so that is supposed to be my version of... Strippers and hookers? Yeah, that's what the, the, Futurama, the Futurama, Futurama bit. With blackjack and hookers! And I was like, yeah. if I can at least make people think of the bit that, I mock, that I'm referencing, then that's the edgiest thing I'll be able to do on a school program. And then the credit sequence here is just... Uh, Oh, it's the backwards Back to the Future music. All these people were so nice to help out. Like, they didn't have to, and I feel bad that I am drawing attention to them. Well, um, shit, dude. That's been, that's been Quentin Leap. Oh, Quentin, Quentin loves his, his video. So, obviously, this is an interactive show, and we, we care deeply about uh, audience engagement. So I've gone ahead and made these green screens of Quentin, and you can feel free to chop them into any scene you like, and then just send them a little, uh, a little at on Twitter, and um, you can help add to the Quentin leap lore.